John Rush, one of the devs working on Fallout 76, just leaked a whole lot of new information about the future of Fallout 76, including a ton of new details about the ghoul class that's coming in early 2025. So, let's dive into all this info and show off some of the stuff data miners have uncovered about this future content. Since QuakeCon, John Rush has been spreading the good word about the future of Fallout 76, so let's break down all of this info. Starting in December, raids will be returning, bringing tougher bosses, more challenges, and four-star legendaries as a reward if you survive. The new raid will be called The Gleaming Depths. Now, the data miners over on the data mine Discord, I will post their link in the description below, have been hard at work, so here are some picks they discovered, and there was also some new information discovered as well. So, thank you to all the data miners for all your hard work, and several of these were actually found by Sugar Bombs Rad, so I'll be linking his info as well. So here's a pick that will be used for raids. This was found by Sugar Bomb Rad, and he also found an image for the four-star box mod. The big question I had surrounding the four-star legendaries was whether we would be gifted the plans for these four-star legendary mods, or would the box mods drop from raids, or maybe we would get both. At least seeing these images of the box mod gives you the sense that we will at least be given the box mod itself. But then the data miners found out that it will cost 120 legendary modules to craft a four-star legendary plan. Now, just to be clear, Bethesda can and frequently does change things, so keep this in mind with all the data mined information. So don't get too upset if 120 sounds like a lot. I think it won't be nearly as bad as we think it will, especially considering it's going to be in-game content that we'll need to be grinding for anyway. This next image came from Super Herald over on the data mine Discord, and this image shows an image that will probably be used for the fourth star legendary crafting, and it also shows off an image found for the upcoming ghoul class. So let's dive straight into the ghoul class, shall we? Because there is so much to talk about. Now, John Rush was on the Bethesda live stream doing an interview where he revealed a ton of new information regarding the ghoul class. Now, just to recap what he said, some of this info is not going to be new, but we're going to go over it nonetheless. So the ghoul class will become available in the form of quest after level 50. Now, if you're not happy with your decision, you will be able to reverse it and go back to being a human. Now, to the new info... Power armor will not be needed if you're a ghoul because you are basically radiation resistant and radiation will heal you. He gave the example that if you're injured, you can drink dirty water and that will heal you. Then he went on to say that you can build up your radiation to use it in other ways. So does that mean it's like a crit bar or is it something else? Speaking of bars, he said there will no longer be a hunger or thirst bar like a human would have. He went on to say the difference between humans and ghouls will be further highlighted more. Does that mean we will be getting an overhaul the gameplay mechanics to humans as well? I guess only time will tell. One thing the ghoul character will have is a feral meter. He wanted us to speculate what would happen once our feral meter ran out. So what do you think he means? The most intriguing part that really got me excited is that John revealed that there will be 32, 32 new specific in-game perk cards in addition to other perk cards we already have. Now, a while back, some of the perk cards were data mined, so here they are, but with 32 perks, this is literally nothing. It feels like this is nothing, or maybe they left us these as breadcrumbs. I'm not sure who found these perk cards or these other images I'm getting ready to show you. Do you think we'll be getting changes to our legendary perks in the future for either ghouls or as humans? And how do you think mutations will work with the ghoul class? Do you think we will be getting changes to our legendary perks in the future for either ghouls or as humans? And how do you think mutations will work with ghoul class? Do you think we'll get changes to our mutations in general in the future? Or even get new mutations either as humans or as ghouls? Let me know in the comments below what you think and what you're most excited for. Take care, and I'll see you in the wasteland. Huge shout out to all my channel members, the Death Claws. Thank you guys so much for having my back and supporting me. Without you, none of this would be possible, and I truly mean that from the bottom of my heart. So thank you so much for the support.